Labour has been absolutely clear from the start. Absolutely clear from the start, Mr Speaker. There must be a meaningful vote on any negotiated deal. That was raised by my friend, the member for Hoban and St Pancras, at the very beginning of this whole Brexit process. And that should a deal be defeated in Parliament, as it was decisively, then Parliament must have a say on how the Government proceeds. This is a vital issue that affects the future direction of our country and the futures facing all, all of our constituents. It determines the jobs and living standards of our people, the rights of European Union citizens living in Britain who have been deeply stressed by this situation, as have British citizens living across the continent of Europe. Our place in the world and our participation and cooperation in European-wide projects on issues as vital as security, counter-terrorism and climate change. Our job, Mr Speaker, must be to bring people together. No matter how anyone in this House campaigned in the referendum, Mr Speaker, no matter how anyone campaigned in the refer referendum, we cannot wish away the votes of 17 million people who voted to leave any more than we can ignore the concerns of 16 million who voted to remain. We must have in our minds the views right across the country. It is, Mr Speaker, therefore right that members of this House represent their constituents to decide the way forward in implementing the results of the referendum. But in delivering the result, we have to but in delivering the result, we have to unite. We have to unite people not to create further divisions or to stoke xenophobia or to allow racism to rear its ugly head within our society.